Nowadays, with televisions getting thinner and thinner, TV manufacturers are making less options for HDMI ports and other connection points to your television, which can be a pain, especially if you have more than one media device that you need to connect to your TV. But luckily, there are other ways to connect multiple devices to your TV. So I found out about this company called Ore that offers a ton of different HDMI switches and matrix switches that can make your life a lot easier. Here I have one of their top selling HDMI matrix switches to review to show you how useful these things really can be. What's going on guys? It is I, Larry the Tech Guy, coming at you guys with another video. I'm the owner of a tech installation business called TechWorks TV Mounting. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the Ore UHD 402 HDMI splitter and matrix switch. Let's start off first by showing you guys what's included with this device. First, you have the matrix HDMI switcher that comes with a remote to be able to switch the inputs. There's also an instruction booklet to explain how your HDMI switcher will work and the various devices that you can connect it to. Then lastly, you get a five volt power adapter that will give your switcher the juice it needs to get the job done. All right, so here I'm gonna describe specifically how this HDMI switcher works. So typically when you plug in a HDMI into a device, you connect it directly to the television. So in this case with the HDMI splitter, we're gonna plug it in from the Apple TV directly into the HDMI splitter which is gonna go into the input spot. So when you connect your television to the HDMI splitter, you're gonna have two spots that you're gonna connect your television to. You're gonna have an output A side, and then you're gonna have an output B side. So the output B side in this situation is gonna be the smaller TV. The output A is gonna be the bigger television. Whenever you select either two of these buttons on the top of the HDMI switcher, it's gonna cycle through the actual HDMI ports that you have things connected to. We're on output A for the bigger television. So we're gonna cycle through to the actual port that's active for the Apple television. The Apple television is active on the second port. So it's gonna give it a second to think. And then the Apple TV comes up on this television. So now we're gonna go over to the B side which the Apple TV is still plugged into on port two. The same device, we're gonna go B side, and then we're gonna to go to number two port as well. And as you see, both of the televisions have the same exact image on them. You can cycle through at the same time, you can watch the same exact show at the same time. In the next situation, we're gonna break down connecting two devices onto these things, so stay tuned. This demonstration, we're gonna be connecting two devices to this smaller television right here. Um, so we have a PS5 connected and an Apple television connected to the HDMI matrix switcher right here. So the Apple TV is connected on the input two of the HDMI switcher and the PS5 is connected on the input three. Since this is on the side B of the whole output that's connected to the television, we're gonna to go to the B side on either the remote or on the button on the top of the actual switcher. And then we're gonna press two to go to the Apple TV, just like we did earlier. You go to two and then you just gotta give the TV a second to think. And then there is the Apple TV. Now, if we wanted to switch over to the PS5 and let's say we wanted a game or something like that, we would go to side three. We can, like I said, we could press three, press it over here till it switches to the third input, or we can press it on the remote, which is usually a lot quicker. After you press uh, the three button, you're gonna give it a second to think, and then it pops right up. Then you have the PlayStation working, just like that. In this situation, we're gonna be connecting the PS5 to both of these televisions at the same time. This works really good if you have four people that are playing the PlayStation and you don't want everyone to look on the same tiny little screen. That way you can connect two TVs to the one PlayStation and everyone can see well. So the big television is gonna be output A, then the smaller television is gonna be output B. So first off, we're gonna start with the button. We're gonna select A. We're gonna press that all the way till it goes to input three. And once it hits input three, it's going to think for a second and then switch to the PlayStation. 
And as you see, the PlayStation works. There's no problem here. And now, if we wanted to bring it up on the smaller television, at the same time, we just have to go to the B side and press it over to the input three. Once you hit input three, now you have the same image on both of these televisions. In conclusion, the Ore UHD 402 HDMI switcher is a great option to have. It gives you a ton of customizable options. That way you can kind of build this thing to your lifestyle and it's really simple to use. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. If you guys got anything useful from the video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. If you guys got any questions about these HDMI switchers or anything else I do in my video, go ahead and leave that in the comment section as well. Also in the comment section, let me know what type of HDMI switchers that you use and how they kind of help your lifestyle out. Thanks a lot guys for checking out the video. Until next time, 